you know, it's very interesting as we look at our public schools, which are paid for by our tax dollars, and maximizing how we use those public places. And public schools are one of them, uh, the most obvious. Those are also centers of activity, and they're safe places. And that's what we have to keep in mind. If we are going to build food security, we must use places that are centers of activity and safe places, particularly for our children. In the seven counties we serve, the Interfaith Food Shuttle serves as a Feeding America food bank, we have 116,000 children who qualify for free and reduced lunches in their, in their public school system. Now, if we can couple that with mobile markets so their families can come to the school and take home food, if we can couple it with backpacks so that there's weekend food security, with summer food, having our public schools participate in summer food service, we will, the summer food service program, much like the free and reduced program, we would really start building a community-based food security model. And I think to do it without our public school systems is just like shooting ourselves in the foot. We, we've got to maximize where our tax dollars are already spent. So I think the public schools are the key.